We have one simple question to answer in today's video, and that is quite simply, which is the best driver from the Callaway Paradigm or Callaway Big Bertha 23? And if I can't give you a definitive answer, I will at least highlight the differences between these two extremely popular drivers. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is gonna make sure to keep everybody happy. We're gonna put exactly the same shaft into both drivers. And uh, in my case, Let's just get that into the right setting first of all. It is a uh, 10 side blue 55 stiff shaft. And like I said, I've just taken out the RCH shaft, which is standard fitted in the Big Bertha 2023. But like I said, level playing field, same shaft in both driver heads. Right, shaft in and uh, before we go any further, this is all going to be about data. We're indoors, we're at Carden Park's custom fit facility. I'm going to be using TrackMan and we're going to get, like I said, the data that we require to separate these two in terms of performance, or at least that's what I hope. But the key separators are going to be on screen for you now. There's going to be a detailed description in terms of a specification, what Callaway is saying at least, on how these two clubs differ. Now, I'm not gonna go through every bullet point, but what I suggest you do, if you're really interested, pause the video right now, take a look at the two uh, lineups in terms of their technical specifications, in terms of what technology is supposedly packed into these two driver heads, work out the difference. But for me, the difference is really, really simple. First of all, the major one is the profile of these. In other words, the shape of them, significantly different. You don't need to explain the difference. One is very much triangular, one is rounded, more traditional, but even in the paradigm, a slightly odd shape than I would associate with traditional shape drivers. There's then that view from the crown in terms of the visual, in terms of coloring. Again, very different from each other, but there is also one other major separator, and that is the visual offset at address. And it's significant, because don't forget, the Big Bertha lineup in full is designed to do one thing. It's aimed at golfers who slice the ball and therefore there is significant offset. Less so notable on the Paradigm. There's a little bit there, but it's a more neutral setup. So what I'm expecting to see is a more straighter ball flight to neutralize my own personal fade with that Big Bertha 23. But obviously if you draw the ball, then it's not something you would be looking to go towards. Anyway. That's it, that's all I'm gonna say. No more in terms of how these things look. I'm gonna talk about how these two things perform. I'm gonna start off by collecting five pieces of data using the Paradigm Tensile Blue Stiff Shaft 55 gram. Right, we've got a ball loaded. I think we'll stick around and uh, let's get the first one underway and out there. Right, come on and five decent shots with both is what we're looking for. That's a superstar with Paradigm. The one thing I will comment on when I move over to the other driver is the difference in sound and feel. I find it super soft with a Paradigm, a slightly odd sound to me, very different than uh, I am used to. It's more muted than a lot of other drivers. Right, five more shots and let's see, or four more shots rather, and let's see what we end up with in terms of data that is. But first ball flight, really good. Other point to mention before I switch off, 10 and a half degrees worth of loft on both heads as well. It couldn't be any more identical in terms of uh, the kind of the setup of the two. Tell you what, stick around for one more. Let's have ball number two and see what we get. Again, interesting ball flight. Pretty much exactly what I'd be expecting. I got custom fit for this driver head with this shaft. It's pretty much doing what I would expect. So, what happens when I switch over to the other driver? I collect three more with this, and then I'll pick up the uh, Big Bertha, swap shafts, and have a little bit of a chat about that one as well. Now, I talked about highlighting the differences between these two, and I have uh, one vital element that I have uh, missed out, and that's the ability to move weight in the paradigm, which uh, you clearly can't do. It's very much fixed weight in terms of the BB23. So there's that sliding weight, very, we've seen it all before, moves to a draw or fade bias. For um, clarification, as you can see, it's set up in the neutral position. Um, so shouldn't have had any bias one way or the other. If I can find my setting, we're gonna change things up into this uh, BB23, hugely different visually. 
do you know what if i'm perfectly honest with you and i've said it on other videos i'm not overly struck on either of them in terms of shelf appeal they're not they're not crying out to me it's been a bit of a controversial one paradigm is very different big bertha very traditional in terms of uh, what it's looked like for a number of years i'm kind of okay with it but not loving it but look at the shape and again you'll get some pictures thrown over for you now hugely different in terms of the way that one looks at the dress but um in terms of the crown that is but then in terms of offset massive right let's move back let's hit some golf balls okay first noticeable thing is uh well first of all it went off really well really pleased with that strike um we're one ball in so maybe i'm just being a little bit presumptuous here in terms of what i'm going to say but ball flight already seems to be launching just that little bit higher totally different sound than paradigm uh, i think more what you'd expect to hear from a callaway driver if you played them before this sounds the same paradigm to me is super super soft and sounds very different than anything i've heard before from callaway i like the big bertha lineup i mean i had issues with the offset um, on my personal sort of setup on my eye but i must admit from a performance perspective for somebody who hits a a left to right shot predominantly it did a good job of straightening me out it's just getting used to it really and being satisfied that you can get um, your, your alignment right at a dress which I always seem to be fiddling around a bit with that's a super ball again I mean visually it looks higher than the balls that I hit with paradigm i might find out that uh, i've got that completely wrong when we look at the um the data later on do you know what i mean perfectly honest with you in terms of like the sound and feel i prefer the big bertha I, it's just maybe it's because what i'm expecting to hear but i've never been overly keen on the way paradigm sounds and uh yeah switching between the two i always say if you're gonna if you're gonna spend 500 quid on a driver I would try as many as you possibly can but I'd also try and fit them in into a similar session now you can't hit sort of 20 balls with each you'd be absolutely knackered by the end of the session but when you put a driver side by side in these kind of head to heads you really start to notice the differences between the two so it's more noticeable than I've ever thought in that sound difference department by going from one driver to the other I'm not really picked on it so significantly before in its individual testing i find the big bertha lineup um, just super easy very playable now that wasn't very good a horrible swing we've got a bit of a big cut potentially one of the problems with big bertha but they seem to have eradicated it is they did a weird thing i don't know whether you remember from the original review they've shifted weight forward which would normally be um, associated with a low spinning driver and they've tried to by reducing spin they're reducing the left to right spin was their um, their idea their concept very different than sort of standard thinking uh, because normally in this type of driver cg is way back and all we're looking to do is get the ball uh, sort of launching high they've managed to do a great combination of both things so uh, stabilize spin at realistic levels so when i did the original test and again we'll see later it wasn't kind of blown in at 3000 revs or higher it managed to maintain a real good spin number and launching the ball high as well you might as well stick around for one more that's better well it's a lot better it's solid right i'm gonna hit one more ball and then we've got our five of each i'm gonna have a look but my opinion is I think I already know the difference between the two. Might be ones that we expect, but uh, let's have a look at the data. Now, arguably data is always gonna be the sort of, uh, well, it tells the truth. There's no kind of hiding from it. And uh, what I'll do, rather than go through each individual shot, I'll throw you up some averages. And we're gonna concentrate on four parameters. And that is uh, club head speed, ball speed, launch angle, and the carry distance. That's all I'm interested in in today's video. 
first of all, look at the average in terms of the ball speed, uh, club head speed. Um, probably half a mile an hour separating the two. It's an average, don't forget, over five shots. So pretty much where I'd be swinging within myself, if you like, um, as I would try and do on the golf course. That's what I'm trying to replicate here. Uh, in and around 95, 96 miles an hour is bang on the button for me. Right, then you look at the ball speeds in relationship to that club head speed. 142.1, 141.8, 0.3 mile an hour separating the two in terms of ball speed. Nothing to split the two there. Uh, look at that launch angle. Um, it's a bit of an interesting one because there must be an outlier area somewhere because we've got, yeah, we've probably got one ball. So we've got 15.1 on the Paradigm, 14.5 on the uh, Big Bertha. Just looking through the data, I've got one ball that I hit low. I mentioned to you on the actual record and we got it. I think it was the second or third shot. Uh, came out a really poor shot, 13.4 launch, one ball. And I think that's sort of really sort of skewed the numbers. In fact, what I'll do, I'll take that out and I'll throw up another that average with that taken out and see what difference it makes. Because take my word for it, overall, I'm just looking at the other shots, the um, Big Bertha seems to be a higher launching ball. Anyway, then you get to the carry distance, 228.7, 227.9, um, you know, whatever it is, 0 0.8 in terms of um, carry distance. I don't even bother putting the spin number up there because honestly, it's impacting very little whatsoever. I'm gonna put up a dispersion chart though. Uh, every ball of mine, and again, I don't know if my alignment was perfect or not, but we seem to be, I was pretty happy that grouping was good. And you can see they're just right of the center line. Um, I'd say that's more to do with where I'm aiming rather than where, because the grouping on both is pretty damn good to be fair. Um, right, that's data. What to tell you? What have we learned? Well, I said I'll try and identify the differences between the two um, and what separates these two. I'm not sure we've done it in terms of data because what I'm reading, if you're seeing the same as me, is they've pretty much done exactly the same damn thing and you wonder why the two drivers exist because ultimately, in terms of carry distance, they're the same. In terms of ball speeds, they look the same. So it goes back to the first thing that we spoke about and the differences that I said, which were the way, this, the way the two drivers look, it's that simple. To me, it's what suits your eye. If you need offset and you're fighting against the sort of uh, the fade, the Big Bertha 23 all day long. For me personally, I'm not fighting against the fade, but I still prefer the performance of the BB23 for me if I was choosing one of these two drivers. Um, I'm still not overly keen on the shaping and profile of the paradigm. So yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sort of, in between on both the drivers on a personal level, but I think that the differences that split these heads, as we've seen before, once you've got the same shaft in as each other, nothing is splitting them in terms of performance and ball speed. The choices you're gonna make are based on personal preferences and uh, you know, mine is not gonna make any difference to yours. Right, that's it, I hope it made sense. We did our best to separate the two. Uh, I'm not sure we quite did. There'll be plenty more of head-to-heads coming. It's a long time since I've been back in the bay looking at data, analyzing performance. We'll be doing that, uh, quite a bit of it, over the next few weeks. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me some feedback, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you tried both of these drivers? Did you find similar or did I get this one completely wrong? Let me know. And I'll see you all tomorrow night.